Hi guys, Trent Zimmer from Unity here. Just wanted to talk about our fusion system a little bit. Uh, we're here at our one of our main dealers, Interstate Guns, and we've got all of our fusion products lined up here. Just wanted to talk about the system as a whole and some different configurations you can use when you're setting up your rifle. The fusion system is an array of accessories that's centered around the use of a hub as the center attachment point. Now this is the uh, full-size fusion hub and this mounts to your rail and then you can mount accessories on top of this. So on the full-size hub you can use the Steiner or LDI D-Ball series of lasers and mount that to the top surface and then you can mount additional accessories like our offset wing and then you could attach a scout like to it and get everything in a nice low profile package on your rail. <clears throat> the VTAC micro hub is a fusion compatible hub. It has two fusion surfaces that allow you to use a backup iron sight and a light in a very low profile compact package saving you weight and rail space. Now all of the fusion accessories share the same footprint which means that any accessory can be mounted to just about any other accessory. So you can use this executive series ring light on our Atpiel adapter or you can use it on the micro hub or you can even use it on the side wing if you want to create just about any configuration using any combination of light, backup iron sight, uh, mounting system, whatever you'd like to use. Now I'd like to talk about each fusion accessory by itself and see how they interface together to give you the ideal weapons light setup. The full-size fusion hub has three interfaces on it and gives you a really wide array of mounting options. So you can mount any of the Steiner LDI lasers on any of the three surfaces. You can use backup iron sights, uh, Surefire Scout lights mount directly to it. With the addition of the Millennium Series adapter, you can mount the Surefire Millennium Series lights, X-Series lights, uh, one-inch and Executive Series lights, and just a really wide range of mounting options. So that's the full-size Fusion Hub. The Viking Tactics Micro Hub is a scaled-down Fusion Hub. It only has two Fusion interfaces on it. And it's really meant for those guys that are not using a laser system. They just want a very lightweight, low profile, backup iron sight and light setup. It saves a lot of rail space by mounting both the backup iron sight and the light directly to the hub. It allows you to move it. It's of course reversible for either side and you can use any of the other fusion accessories on it. Now this size hub does not mount the Steiner LDI lasers. You'll have to go to the full size hub for that. The Viking Tactics Tubular Hub has two fusion interfaces on it and it has comes with backer nuts so you can stick these through the hole in your rail, your tubular rail, and mount it in several different configurations. It natively mounts the Surefire Scout Series and Millennium Series lights and then with the use of the other accessories you can mount just about any other light out there from X-Series pistol type lights to ring lights or just about anything else. So you can secure this using the included backer nuts in a vertical configuration like this. You can flip it over and have the light lower and you can mount it at 45 degree offsets, essentially anywhere that you have holes in your rails that you can mount to. Uh, this is very, very lightweight and very strong way to mount just a light. Now moving on from the hubs, we have a couple of different backup iron sight solutions. We have a folding backup iron sight and a fixed backup iron sight. And both of these sights will co-witness with lower third rear irons when mounted directly to the hub. So they are at the correct height for that when mounted to the hub. They are not usable as standalone. They must be used with a fusion hub. They're both very lightweight. The folding sight has positive detents up and down. It does not have a lock. And both of those are available, as with the rest of the fusion accessories, in black or flat dark earth. We have two sizes for the rings. We have a one inch size and an executive series size. The one inch size is intended to use with lights like the Surefire Fury, and the executive series can be used with the, any of the Surefire executive series lights. Now both of these mount in the same way to the hub. They mount with two screws from the back and it's secured very rigidly using two large 1032 screws and it allows you to move it back and forth, it allows you to reverse it, and you can mount it on any fusion accessory there. The offset rail is just a simple section of 1913 rail that can be used mounted to the hub. Now this can mount anything that mounts to a normal 1913 rail. Most people use the Surefire X-Series pistol lights or the Streamlight lights uh, or anything else that has a Picatinny adapter here. And of course it just slides on and allows you to offset it. The neat thing about this is it has two positions. 
so the mounting interface is not centered on it, which is allows you to mount it in a lower configuration, or if you reverse it, a higher configuration, depending on where you want the light positioned. It can also be moved back and forth along the fusion interface there to position the light forward or aft, just like you'd like. Surefire Millennium Series Adapter allows you to use the Surefire Millennium Lights, which have a wider spacing than the Scout Lights. The Scout Lights will mount directly to any of our hubs with the holes provided. However, the Millennium Series Lights have a wider hole spacing than the Scout Lights. Using the Millennium Adapter, it gives you that hole spacing required for those lights. So it doesn't have any fore raft adjustment for it. Uh, it's built in to set at this position. This is our offset wing. This is primarily intended to be used with a full-size hub and a Steiner or LDI D-ball laser on top. This allows you to mount the laser on top with the light off to the side. It's fully reversible, so it can be mounted on, the either, on either side as such, or it can be moved forward and aft to get the light positioned exactly where you'd like it. The forward rail also works just with the full-size hub. It attaches to this point on the front and allows you to push a light forward of where your rail would end. So if your rail stopped right here, you can push this light out forward over the barrel if you have enough space. And of course, this is 1913, so you can mount any X-series light to it, uh, or you can also mount a scout to it if you'd wish. The extension allows you to push the light further out from the hub. If you're using a backup iron sight and you, uh, you need some extra space, you can move this fore and aft and you can really adjust, finally adjust the position of the light. It has a built-in 1913 interface and also the fusion pattern for mounting any of the other accessories. So you can mount a ring light to it if you'd wish to use a Fury or an executive series light as well. It also works with the Millennium Series Adapter, so you can mount a Surefire Millennium Series light to it. And the last Fusion accessory we have is a new one. Uh, this is available through Unity and TNVC and Sport Optics as well. This is the Atpeel Adapter. There's a left, right, a left side and a right hand side. This allows you to mount the VTAC Micro Hub directly behind the Atpeel laser with a backup iron sight and allows you to put the light uh, just off to the side, either side of it, uh, using the right-hand side or if you were to flip it around and use the left-hand side as well. This allows you to keep everything on the top rail, everything very tight and pushed all the way up front where you should be using your lasers. And you can also mount the micro hub in front of it, turn it around and get some different options there as well. So that concludes just about all of the Unity Tactical Fusion accessories as well as the VTAC Fusion accessories. There's a couple more that we have to show you and a few more that will be coming out shortly. Thank you.